so uh, if you look at the hormonal uh, reasons uh, why depression generally occurs in our body so there is a very important uh, hormone which is uh, required for a general happy and comfortable state of your body uh, which is called serotonin actually. now there are other happy hormones like uh, dopamine there is endorphin there is oxytocin and there are other hormones that are required in our body for different other functions now what happens during uh, during your normal state if you if your your body is not under depression if you are generally happy right your serotonin levels are uh, pretty okay right and whenever the body releases cortisol which is the stress hormone uh, there is enough serotonin in the body to take care of it i mean i'm not a hormone expert i'm just giving you a very layman uh, layman's idea about how this uh, entire hormonal system works now to help body create more serotonin the body has to be in a happy state so serotonin creates happy state and when you are in a happy state your body creates more serotonin to take your body into a happy state what you need to do is do some physical activity which is a rhythmic physical activity or any sort of mental and physical exercise so when you are doing surya namaskar uh, when you are actually taking up surya namaskar you know your surya namaskar helps body create the right amount of uh, dopamine at the same point of time they also create endorphin why endorphin is generally for uh, pain relieving and uh, you know it helps you kind of uh, control the pain uh, dopamine is a hormone which will take your body instantly into a happy state and if your body has enough dopamine uh, uh, which is regularly being uh, 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 there inside your body then gradually your body starts picking up or developing more serotonin levels this is again you know very vague idea about how the hormones work but now why surya namaskar only why not any other physical form of workout so in the yogic uh, wellness uh, we talk about six pillars of yogic wellness uh, we have actually talked about it in the past as well they start from endurance strength flexibility mind balance and spirituality right so in most of the forms of exercise or workouts you know you are generally focusing on either one or two or three yogic pillars but not on the six yogic pillars together and in surya namaskar right from bowing to the sun right from dedicating your practice this practice of rhythmic or sequential asan uh, to the to the ultimate source of energy which is sun you are actually able to balance all the six pillars together and if your body is able to really work on all the six pillars together in any form of uh, physical exercise or mental exercise or or the soul workout uh, i think what happens is your body is able to balance all the hormonal uh, levels pretty perfectly after that so so any form of workout could be great for depression while surya namaskar is the best i would say because in surya namaskar you are able to balance all the six pillars together so theoretically speaking your entire body mind and soul are able to get into a perfect balanced state which is very important to come out of a depressive state of mind